We have big news today out of Iowa's largest school district. Superintendent Dr. Thomas A. Hart announced his resignation. After deep thought and careful deliberation with my family, I have decided to step down as superintendent of our beloved school district. Local 5's Carson J.S. Reichardt is live outside DMPS's central campus. And Carson, what led to this decision? Yeah, Samantha, as you said, Dr. Ahart is resigning after 10 years as superintendent of the Des Moines Public School District. Speaking with reporters today, he said that after two years of dealing with the pandemic, he's confident that now is the right time to move on. The last two years um, didn't feel like two years. <laughs> You know, it felt more like, um, you know, four or five years. Um, I think I think you ask any educator that they'll tell you. Ahart became superintendent of Des Moines Public Schools in 2013 after spending nearly a year as interim superintendent. Duana Bradley, chair of the DMPS school board, praised Ahart during a press conference this morning at DMPS's central campus, where he first announced his retirement. Rather lobbying at the state capitol or cheering in the stands of an athletic event, Dr. Ahart has always operated with the interests of our community, our district, and our students in mind. Ahart's contract, which lists a salary of just over $306,000 annually, plus benefits, was already set to expire on June 30th, 2023, after the school board voted not to extend it last year. He became a subject of controversy during the COVID-19 pandemic when he held classes online for the first two weeks of the 2020-2021 school year. That was a direct violation of a state order that required in-person learning for at least 50% of students. The challenges are monumental and there are a lot of things working directly against our efforts. So I would have spent more time from the beginning through, through the end lobbying, more actively lobbying, lobbying the community for, for more support. Ahart's resignation will be effective June 30th, provided it's accepted by the school board at their meeting tomorrow. So obviously there's a big question left. Who exactly is going to fill Ahart's position? Bradley told reporters today that there will be an interim superintendent appointed for the 2022-2023 school year. And after that, there will be a nationwide search for a full-time replacement. Live in Des Moines, Carson J.S. Reichardt, Local 5 News, we are Iowa. Carson, thank you. And during his press conference today, Ahart spoke about what he's proud of from his time as superintendent. Now, here's three things. The district won the Magna Award, a top honor from the National School Board Association for its equity and inclusion initiatives. The class of 2019 had an all-time high graduation rate from DMPS at nearly 83%. Finally, DMPS started their new blue contract, which partnered with Drake University to help teachers earn math master's degrees. According to DMPS, that's allowed them to retain 90% of new teachers since it was implemented. Now we have a superintendent's Ahart's full speech online. You'll find that at weareiowa.com.